I was born and raised in a small town called uh, Tampico, in the north uh, part of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, I have two siblings. My dad is from uh, Mexico, but from the south of Mexico. My mother is uh, a daughter of an immigrant from Lebanon, uh, but she was born and raised also in Mexico. My mother was a stay-at-home mom, and late in her years, she became an English teacher. My father was a chemical engineer, and in that kind of line of work, um, I learned a lot of the chemistry, particularly the petrochemical industry. And that's so I was born into a family which uh, was kind of kind of like science in their veins, if you will. I always had an aspiration to make a difference and, and help others. Uh, so at some point in time, I wanted to be a firefighter. Then I wanted to be a policeman. Then I wanted to be a science teacher. And then I wanted to be a chemical engineer. And my aspiration at the time was still the same. And it's still, even these days, the same, which is uh, helping people in, in different ways. And, and that was kind of always my, my aspiration. It hasn't changed since I was kind of maybe 10, 15 years old. And, and which is one of the reasons why I became a chemical engineer as well, uh, and also eventually joined Procter Gamble. Yeah, so I joined PNG with a lot of skepticism, uh, first of all. I mean, I, I wasn't sure I wanted to live in Mexico City. I wasn't sure I was going to be uh, successful in PNG. Uh, at the time, my English wasn't perfect. I didn't have a PhD or a master's degree in science, and I knew that that was one of the key characteristics of uh, particular research and developers. But I wanted to give it a try. And that probably describes me of who I am. I, I was willing to try, experiment, um, do my best. And what has kept me in PNG all along has been the ability to make a difference and be recognized for that. And I'm grateful to the company for giving me that opportunity. And over the years, um, you know, I've, I've made, I've progressed through the organization and every time I had the opportunity to make even a bigger impact and a bigger impact and a bigger impact. And every one of those experiences has been, it turned out to be extraordinary. And I'm thankful to PNG for giving, them, giving me that opportunity. So in a way, uh, I built a relationship with a company uh, that I love uh, in a reciprocal way. And that's the story. And before, long before you know it, you know, I've been now almost 32 years in the company. My, my immigrant experience, I think, has been indeed in many ways unique. And just the ability to live in different countries and recognize the value that uh, each country has, its culture, uh, and also the, 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 the differences versus my own culture uh, has been extremely enriching. And I think uh, uh, that has opened my eyes to many new things, to understand differences better, understand why uh, those differences happen relate them to my own personal um, knowledge of my own culture. Uh, I just think that has made me a more um, knowledgeable and more experienced when it comes to international uh, understanding and be able to recognize the value and opportunities that each country and culture brings. Uh, and at the same time, obviously recognize the differences and manage those differences, which sometimes are uncomfortable, sometimes are clearly uh, not ideal based on your point of view. Uh, but on balance, I've been able to deal with that um, sort of situation uh, very uh, well. And, and when I say I, it's, it's actually not I, it's uh, me and my family. I'm thankful also for my, my wife and, and daughters that um, have, uh, you know, quite frankly, played a big role in this journey. Uh, very often, uh, so when I think about my immigrant experience, I think about my family immigrant experience. All, and all together, we become stronger as a family, probably in ways that we wouldn't have achieved that had we not gone through all of these experiences together. So when, when we moved to the U.S., um, our natural tendency uh, sort of called upon us, and that was call people that you know, that you feel comfortable with, to try to learn what the experience looks like. 
So the moment I was offered a job in the U.S., we called friends that we knew, or not friends, but colleagues who I, who I knew, um, PNGers who I knew had immigrated before, and kind of get to know how the, their experience worked out. Uh, naturally, they, they offer a lot of help. And interesting, many of them became our closest friends when we land, and even on to these days. And, and then it became the network uh, because we were introduced to their friends and their friends and their friends. And long before we knew it, we were, and we still are, spending 99% of our time with, uh, with, with the Latin community. Now, it doesn't necessarily are all Mexican, but generally we're Latin American. And, and that also, the, the other thing is that that network became our sort of support you know, in, in that play the role of our family or of our extended family uh, in the sense of help needed, how to do things, uh, even taking care of our kids when we wanted to travel or needed to do something. Uh, you know, you could call upon them for special favors in case of emergencies and whatever. Uh, so in a way that network has become a, a, not just a network friend, but also a, network, a supporting network. Um, and, and with a level of intimacy that we probably wouldn't have had if I had stayed in my country. And that has get us closer. And, and because they're also immigrants, they, it's a reciprocal sort of uh, effect here where I do the same for them. And, and I don't know whether that's true in all the cultures, but certainly true in the Latin American community, as, as we know. Uh, and that has played really, really well for us. You know, and that has made our life uh, significantly happier and more easier than otherwise would have been. I wanted to make a difference in all my life, and PNG offered me that opportunity. And of course, uh, as I'm looking to a new challenge, new job, and we immigrated to the U.S., it was a big job that they offered me. Uh, and of course, he came with uh, significantly higher financial rewards than if I had in I had to stay in my own country. But the challenges that come with that is on the work and on the social life. On the work side, all of a sudden you are uh, now, um, I guess, a foreigner within the organization. Because I immigrated as an adult and with some already experience, work experience, I really didn't have the credentials that would give me instant credibility and support from the organization. My degree was in a university in Mexico, which, you know, I, I can relate to a story where, you know, one of my employees looked at me and said, well, you know, I, I know that you come from Mexico, but, you know, we don't really recruit in your university, so what are you doing here? Um, or, I mean, in the U.S., most of our um, r and have a PhD, um, you know, postdoctor, some, some of them even postdoctorate graduate for sure and I didn't have that at the time so there is that need to um, basically build the credibility to lead an organization when you're a foreigner uh, and you're an immigrant in, in a foreigner in an organization even though obviously I was still in Procter & Gamble and, and I had um, the, title, the title and the responsibility but no credentials so that's one of the examples of the challenges in the work uh, the other one is um, associated to the first one is um, the the innovation work that we did or I did in the past in Latin America before immigrating to the U.S. Uh, was a certain kind that here many consider uh, less technically challenging, uh, which wasn't true. It was more perception based on on lack of knowledge. So therefore, they they sort of had very low expectations on my technical savviness and my ability to lead a highly technical organization uh, that resides here in the U.S. Here we hire people from the really the best universities in the country, which happens to be one of, one of the best in the world. And so that, that's kind of the challenge. So there is a lot of, I felt a lot of pressure upon my shoulders to demonstrate to myself and to the organization that I could succeed in, in, in such environment. And so, yes, you know, in many ways, you know, the financial security and prosperity that came along with the job uh, had the, the tension and, and personal um, kind of challenges, which at, at the same time, they were highly motivating for me. 
Now I needed to demonstrate. Now I wanted to achieve even more. Now I wanted to be a difference. I wanted to demonstrate to myself that I could succeed uh, despite all my lack of credentials, if you will. I work in the innovation side of our business. And the better projects are those that start with better ideas. And better ideas come with the ability to tap into everybody's thinking and everybody has a different point of view, different experiences. So first and foremost, uh, diversity and inclusion, it's in my view, fundamental for better ideas that lead to innovation. But then innovation is all about also development and risk management. And then again, creating an environment where you can hear and listen to different points of view basically strengthens the idea or sometimes kill the idea, which is probably the right thing to do. So I, I, I fundamentally believe that listening to everyone and creating that environment where people can speak their mind, can look at different things. And, you know, just as immigrants have a different point of view, um, different minority groups in the U.S. also have a different point of view. They also have different upbringing. They also have different needs uh, and, and you name it. And, and including all of those comments and perspectives, uh, I found it to be extremely valuable for uh, the innovation. But I would even argue for the whole project and eventually for the whole company. So uh, although I'm, I'm focusing a lot on the innovation side, I would make the same argument whether I had been in finance or, or, or I don't know, sales or marketing for sure. Um, so I just find it fascinating to, to hear and listen and, and create an environment where people feel part of the team. I'm really grateful for, um, to my company, Procter Gamble, for giving me the opportunity to live in so many countries and also to value my skills. Um, I think the, the company is, is great in creating that environment, obviously not perfect, but um, helping me achieve my goals. I, I think it's, uh, I'm very grateful to the company. I'm also very grateful to my family for coming along with the, in the journey with me. It's a lot of sacrifices, um, you know, just being separated, if you will, in this case, willingly uh, from your family, missing so many birthdays, so many uh, social events that would have gotten together. Um, it's been painful. And, and I'm grateful to them for following me in the journey and, and helping us achieve a goal that um, has always been important to us.